Three Syrian refugees reportedly raped a little girl at Knife Point in Idaho before urinating on her body, an incident that prompted furious residents to accuse Twin Falls City Council members of covering up the assault. The sexual assault allegedly took place on June 2nd, but has received virtually no media attention aside from one vague KMVT report. However, residents have been circulating what really happened on social media, with the creeping Sharia blog reporting that the victim was a young girl who was born premature and is less developed for her age. The victim's grandmother found the victim and then called the girl's mother who called the police. The police took two and a half hours to arrive, but were unable to take any action due to the language barrier. When she arrived, the mother of the alleged rapist was only able to say, no police, while the father reportedly congratulated his 13-year-old son. Video of the entire assault was captured on the boy's cell phone. But according to the Idaho Statesman, the Twin Falls County Prosecutor Grant Loeb says there were no Syrians involved, there was no knife involved, and there was no gang rape. Loeb continued, There is a small group of people in Twin Falls County whose life goal is to eliminate refugees, and thus far they have not been constrained by the truth. They have not been constrained by the truth in the past, and I don't expect them to be constrained by the truth in the future. Truth. These supposed city leaders would have the good people of Twin Falls believe there isn't any invasion of psychotic refugees gradually flooding the United States that will soon resemble the horror transpiring in Europe. Just listen to your elected leaders. They know best, right? Well, so the first item is uh, general public input. If there is anyone here from the public who wishes to address the council on an issue that is not on tonight's agenda, now is your chance to please come forward. We've been made aware of a uh, situation, an alleged assault of a minor child, and uh, we can't get any information on it. Apparently, it's been indicated that it was uh, the perpetrators were four Muslim youth that uh, conducted this uh I guess it was rape and we've heard that it's consensual but my concern is there's no such thing as consensual rape of a minor I am telling you I am not aware of a news story about allegations of an assault against a minor in our community by Islamists and Idaho's first news has confirmed that a reported sexual assault around the Fonbrook apartments in Twin Falls is being investigated by the Twin Falls Police Department the incident allegedly occurred on June 2nd Twin Falls County Prosecutor Grant Lopes has confirmed the investigation but says there will be no charges filed in the case until the investigation is complete Unconfirmed reports concerning the case are circulating on social media, but no one will comment officially on the case while it is still under investigation. Where is the national media on this story? The only outrage is actually from the politically correct downplaying the crime, as Snopes.com has labeled the information circulating on the web as mostly false. And it appears Loeb actually was right, technically. The miners accused of the assault weren't Syrian. They were from Sudan and Iraq, and the rest of the details are hidden from public view because miners committed the heinous act. Loeb's BS is correct. But rather than protect America's children by getting to the bottom of it and calming any fears brewing within the local community, the Twin Falls City Council would have anyone concerned branded a bigot and a white supremacist. The council was also grilled as to how a mosque was approved after just 24 hours, whereas a new home application would take at least two weeks just to process. Just another blatant example of what may be coming to, or without you even knowing, is currently happening in your community. You might look at us and think that we're some kind of a coalition of weirdos, and, and actually there's professionals, there's business owners, there's college graduates. We're not just a bunch of weird people. We're people that are living here in this community paying our taxes. We're nationals of somewhere in the United States or Idaho. And we have what we feel, anyway, are legitimate concerns. Due to mounting pressure from the Twin Falls community, the families of the boys accused of the assault have since been evicted. John Baum for Infowars.com. Brain Force is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused. 
less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.